If you really want to unleash the energy that's in this room, go and lead the way. Leadership is the name of the game. It's got to be 75% leadership, 25% management. Why do I say that? Here's why. Management is budgeting, staffing, controlling, keeping things the same, getting things done on time. It is status quo. Hugely important. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. But sometimes even sales managers get a managerial mindset. Your sales manager slash leader. Leaders, what's leaders? Vision. Communicating vision, getting buy-in, motivating action, completely different animal. How I treat you, how I serve you, how I lead you, how I befriend you, how I care about you, says more about me than anything else in the world. You want to win people over for life? Care about people. Serve people. Enjoy people. Give yourself away to people. The great ones do just that. We remember people like that. We play for people like that. We give extra effort for people like that because they live behind their principles. Principles trump technique every single time. No one out. Go to bed early, get on your spouse's side of the bed, and watch what happens one night a week. It's pretty interesting. Your spouse will go like, what is your problem? And what's interesting, they won't even move. They'll just keep, what is your, they'll just stay right over the top of you until you move. We don't like change, man, and we don't like comfort zones. And the challenge is we get complacent. Complacent is this sleepy, steadfast contentment with the status quo. It's based on past success. We look back and say, well, we didn't used to do it that way. It was so nice back then. We were successful back then. And we live in that world of complacency. Trust me, things can get mundane. I understand that. You get knocked on your can. I get that. I understand about risky credit de uh, decisions. I, I, I know there's some challenges and all that. But still, beyond all that stuff, what's the trigger that allows you to live on your go and grow side? How do you lead that process? What's the trigger like I take two quarters out of my pocket? What do you have when going's really tough? How do you motivate yourself? How do you focus your energy? How do you get your teammates to focus their energy? I'm not talking about motivation like you got your iPod on, you're cruising down the street on a walk. I'm talking when it's crunch time. What's the trigger that you pull out that says, I can rise above this and lead my team? People need that from you. They're expecting that from you. And if they don't get it, they'll wander off into complacency and false urgency. The ideas in your head rule your world. We move towards the most dominant thought and belief system. Can I tell you something? Your brain could care less what you tell it. It just doesn't care what you tell it. It'll just obey what you tell it. Tell it often enough, it'll do it. How do we go from here? We leave this conference, this controlled environment, and walk out there, the jungle hits us between the eyes, hits us with, with cell phones and laptops, and Monday shows up, and we go back to what we know. How do we overcome that? We overcome it by staying on our go side. What is it? We need to have a dream that's so compelling that when your people come to work, they understand it, they see it, they can color in the picture that, you know what, staying here in this performance level is unacceptable because that's where we need to go. Living there is more valuable than staying put.